Hello again everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been a little bit, was dealing with some health issues, but I'm back and today I am going to do another video on a historical figure in women's fitness. I wanted to talk about somebody that I thought was really fascinating, but she's not very well known, certainly not as well uh, documented as my previous video. Um, the person that I'm covering today, her stage name was Volcana. She was a strong woman who performed in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Volcana's real name was Miriam Kate Williams. She was born on May 6th of 1874 in Abergavenny, Wales. Her parents were Robert Williams and Eleanor Williams. Her father was a preacher. I could not find a whole lot of information on her mom, but I'm guessing based on the time period, she was probably a housewife, um, especially her father being a preacher. Um, her father was actually the first one to encourage her into athletics at a very young age. Doing sports and being active was something that Kate really enjoyed and she just, she fell in love with it. As a teenager, Kate actually worked at a tannery and then at the age of 15 she began exercising at a gymnasium ran by a local strongman by the name of William Roberts. Now Roberts was so impressed by Kate's strength even at her young age that when he had a last minute cancellation for a performer at a party that he was throwing he actually asked Kate to fill in for that person and people were just extremely impressed by her she was very very strong even at a young age and being a woman during that time period and so that kind of sparked her whole performing career she really really loved performing she loved lifting weights she loved being strong now William was obviously also impressed with her as a person because they would end up running away together even though he already had a wife and children of his own but I guess they were meant to be because they did end up staying together for the rest of their lives and would end up having at least four children, four confirmed children. Some sources say there were six, but only four were actually confirmed. Roberts is the one who set up their performing personality, so to speak. He's the one that gave her the name Volcana, and then he would go by Atlas, and they marketed themselves as a brother-sister strong person duo. And it seemed like this ruse apparently held up for the rest of their lives, even until after their deaths, despite the fact that they did have some children together. And that might have to do with the fact that even though they remained together for the remainder of their lives, they never actually got married. Now, Atlas was absolutely a master salesman. He was constantly telling all kinds of tales about the things that him and Volcana could do, talking about the various feats of heroism that she had performed. Unfortunately, Robert was also known to be a bit of an exaggerator and at times an outright liar when it came to what himself and Volcano were capable of. There was one incident where he challenged then champion W.A. Pullman to a weightlifting contest and he was found to be using weights that were significantly lighter than what he had stated he could lift. And incidents like this one did have an impact on both Atlas as well as Volcana's reputation. However, we do have more verified documentation of Volcana being able to do things that were still quite amazing. There is a photograph of then 16 year old Kate lifting a grown man above her head with a single hand. There was also a record breaking competition being held at the weightlifting club of France. It has a French name. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it because I know that I will butcher it, where she did perform and a Professor Desbonnet, who was considered by many to be the father of weightlifting in France, did give her an award and did verify and document her lifts during that contest. During this competition, she would perform a bent press with her right hand with a 124 and a half pound weight and she would do an overhead press with 56 pounds in each hand. While many of the tales of heroism that 
Atlas would tell about Kate. There were a few that were actually documented that we have proof did happen. When she was 26, she pulled two drowning boys from the river, for which she did end up receiving an award. In 1932, both Kate and William would end up retiring from performing, and in 1939, she would be struck by a car, but she did not die. She ended up recovering, though she did end up with some lasting brain damage. She would outlive Atlas as well as their youngest daughter by a few months, dying in 1946 at the age of 72. The thing that I find the most amazing about Kate Volcana is that just how much against the grain she was willing to go. During this time period, having muscles was looked down on, especially for women. It was a status symbol to be frail. If you had muscles, it was because you were too poor to pay other people to do physical labor for you. So yeah, it was viewed as, as a negative thing to have developed muscles, both for men, but especially for women. Kate, however, was proud of her physique. She loved being strong. But despite her physique and muscles being looked down upon, people still considered her beautiful and feminine, and she was. I look at photos of her during some of her performances, during some of her ads, and she just looks like this beautiful warrior goddess. So yeah, that's the story of Kate Williams, aka Volcana, and her pretty interesting life. She sounds like something straight out of a movie, but she was a real woman. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.